Hello, and welcome to the Pre-Calculus 11 lesson on graphing reciprocal functions. Notice the reciprocal of a number is just 1 over that number. So in this example, we've got 2, the reciprocal is 1 over 2. Another way to think about it is that the reciprocal is just the fraction flipped upside down. So 2 over 1, the reciprocal is 1 over 2. Okay, the reciprocal of a function Notice that for the reciprocal of a function, if we've got a point mn, then we just take the reciprocal of the y part. So the x, the m stays the same, and the y gets flipped over to the reciprocal, as it says right here. Okay, so let's have a look at a function I've just made up down here. So on the left, we've got f at x. And on the right, we've got the reciprocal 1 over f at x. So notice the x stays the same, and y, we flip it over. So 4 over 1 gets flipped over to 1 quarter. Negative 2 to a half. Negative 1 stays the same. 1 flipped over is still 1. x stays the same. A quarter flipped over is 4. 1 stays the same, we get 1 over 0 for our reciprocal, so that will be undefined. 2, negative a quarter flipped over will be negative 4. 3 stays the same, negative a half flipped over is still negative 1, or sorry, negative 1 flipped over is still negative 1. 4 is the same, negative 2 goes to negative a half, and 5 goes to negative a quarter. Okay, so I've now graphed all of the original f at x points, and now with red x's, I'm going to put on the reciprocal, the 1 over f at x points. So we've got negative 3, a quarter. First thing you should notice is that because the x stays the same, the x is both negative 3, these points are directly above or below each other because the x is the same. All right, our next point, negative 2 a half, notice it's directly below the, t or sorry, yeah, negative 2 a half. Notice that's directly below negative 2, 2. Negative 1, 1 is in the same spot. And now I've got 0, 4 directly above 0, a quarter. And I've got 1 is undefined, so I'm just going to put a, a dotted line here to show that there can't be anything when x equals 1. That's an undefined spot. Okay. Next we've got 2, negative 4, so that's directly below 2, negative a quarter. 3, negative 1's in the same spot. 4, negative a half, directly above the other point. And 5, negative a quarter, directly above 5, negative 4. All right. 2 asks us which values stayed the same. Not surprisingly, 1 and negative 1. So when y was 1 or negative 1, that stayed exactly the same. And the other thing it asks us is what happened when f at x was 0? Our reciprocal there was undefined. OK, next page. So they've given us the graph of g at x equals 1 half x plus 1. And in red, we're going to graph 1 over g at x, the reciprocal. And that's the graph of 1 over 1 half x plus 1. And there's some instructions at the top of the page. First thing we want to know is where g at x equals negative 1 or 1. Notice that this is when y equals negative 1 or 1. So that's going to be here, y equals 1, and here, y equals negative 1. Notice that I can put points there in red, because as we learned on the last page, the reciprocal of 1 is 1, and the reciprocal of negative 1 is just negative 1. OK, B it says, locate the point where g at x equals 0. So on our black line, g at x equals 0 there. And same as on the front page, I'm just going to draw a dotted line here to show that we can't possibly have any points 
and the reciprocal on that dotted line. Okay, now C asks us to locate basically easy to flip points. So an easy to flip point on our original here would be 2. 4 is also an easy to flip point. And remember, our x's stay the same, so 2 on a reciprocal graph will be directly below it at a half. Oops, and that's not 4, that's y equals 3. There's y equals 4. Where is it? No, it's not. That was y equals 4 right there. And then directly below it, we'll have y equals a quarter. And we can do the same with the smaller values on our original graph. There's y equals a half, y equals a quarter. Half will go up to 2, a quarter will go up to 4. Notice we don't need to know what the x values are. We just need to make sure that our red points are directly above or below the black points on our original graph. And now to the negatives. y equals negative 2 there. y equals negative 4 is way over here. So negative 2 goes to negative a half. Negative 4 goes to negative a quarter. And here we've got negative a half. Here we've got negative a quarter. So directly below negative a half, we'll have negative two. And directly below negative a quarter, we'll have negative four. OK, so that's the end of part C. D now says, what will happen to the reciprocal as g at x gets larger and larger? So as this keeps going up and up and up to infinity, this is going to keep the fractions are going to keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So as this comes down through here, it's going to get really, 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 really close to the x-axis, but never touch it. You know, we'll have like one over a million, one over a billion, one over a gajillion. So it'll get super, super close. It'll never touch it. OK? And same thing's going to happen over here as that gets really, really small. We'll have 1 over negative a million on our reciprocal here. OK, and then it says, what will happen to the reciprocal as our original gets smaller and smaller? So as this gets closer and closer to 0 down here, these axes will keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And same thing. The closer and closer we get to that 0, the closer and closer it's going to get to touching that x equals 2 dotted line, but it'll never quite get there. OK, so notice that here our x-axis is our horizontal asymptote. It's, it's the line that it gets really, really close to and never touches. And here that line x equals negative 2 will be our vertical asymptote. So our, our reciprocal graph will get really, really close to that and never touch it. All right. And now for our final question, they've asked us to graph y equals negative 1 half x plus a half, which I've already done in black. And now in red, I'm going to graph the reciprocal, y equals 1 over negative 1 half x plus a half. OK, first step was find out where y equals 1 or negative 1. So here we've got y equals 1. We can put a red x there. Here we've got y equals negative 1. Put a red x there. Um, if you get confused between your x's and y's, a good idea is to just take a ruler, and you can just slide it up and down your graph like that. And that'll tell you what the y value is by looking here. You can see that if the ruler is here, then we've got y equals negative 1 there, and it's at that point on the graph.
All right, next thing we need to do is find out where x, or sorry, when y equals 0, which is right here at x equals 1, which means we're going to have that vertical asymptote there. Okay, now we just need to start choosing some points and flipping them. So in this case, we uh, I don't have that much room here, so I'm just going to use x equals, or sorry, y equals 2 and y equals 3. So below that I'll have y equals a half and y equals a third. And y equals a half will be there. And y equals, I guess I should go a third because that's, I only have room for 3. Oops. So we'll call that y equals a third there, which means above a half we'll have two, and above a third we'll have three. And that guy's going to cruise along that asymptote, and this one will go straight up the asymptote. Perfect. Okay, now let's do the negatives. Here we've got negative two, negative three for y, so that'll give me negative a half and negative a third. And here we've got negative a half. And actually, I've got negative four way down there. So I'll do negative a quarter there. So negative a half goes to negative two, negative four, down from negative a quarter. And again, those are both going to go along those asymptotes. And now it asks us for the equations of the asymptotes. So there's our horizontal asymptote. The equation of that line is y equals 0. And there's our vertical asymptote. And the equation of that line is x equals 1. So, <coughs> so to recap, you just need to follow the four steps. Find where the original equals 1 and negative 1. Find where the original equals 0. Find some points and flip them. And then fill in the rest of the graph.